By default, the builder is responsive across all resolutions. This means that when you resize your browser, it'll automatically shrink to ensure your content fits the resolutions you're viewing it in. But now with the responsive styling feature, you're given more freedom to customize exactly how your rows, columns, and even modules will look when viewed on mobile or tablet. For this tutorial video, we're going to showcase how to use the responsive styling feature. Let's start by viewing the site. We'll see that it looks great on desktop and is responsive across all resolutions. But let's say we want to change how it looks on mobile. We can make some adjustments so that the content will pop out more. To do this, let's turn on the builder for the site. Then we can activate the responsive styling feature. We can do this in three ways. This is to make it convenient for you as you're editing your site without disturbing your workflow. First is directly through the row that we're editing. We can do this by hovering our cursor over the row action button here and then click on the mobile icon. This will then allow us to edit the page on mobile. Second is on the light box styling tab when you're editing a row, column, or module. You will see the responsive styling icons at the top where you can click it to start editing the styling on mobile or tablet. The third way to activate the responsive styling and probably the most obvious way is by clicking on the tablet or mobile icon at the top admin bar here. Doing this will allow us to begin editing our page either on mobile or tablet. Let's first edit our site on mobile. We'll see that on preview, it's showing us a 680 pixel width. This is a default mobile responsive breakpoint. What this means is that when you view your site in any resolution that's 680 pixel width or less, it'll activate the mobile responsive styling that you've set. We can, however, adjust the size of the preview frame so it'll be more true to how it'll look when we view it on any mobile device that we'd like. So for example, on an iPhone 10, the frame is 375 pixel. We can adjust the preview frame to make it look like the iPhone 10 by clicking on the bar here and dragging it. We can see the exact pixel size, so we can drag it to make it exactly 375 pixels. Now we can edit it as we like. So for example, let's remove the padding on this row because it's taking up too much space on mobile. Maybe we can just add 15 pixel top and bottom padding. Also, I wanna change the background image to another image that I've resized using Photoshop to make it look better when viewed on mobile. And then on the column, let's add an overlay to make the text and button pop out more. Finally, on the text module, I'm going to make the font size smaller. And I'm going to change the font face. The cool thing about the responsive styling is that whatever styling we do on mobile will only be applied to your site when users view it on mobile or on any site that's 680 pixel or smaller. Let's see how it looks when we view it on desktop and then change it to mobile. We'll see our edits apply only on mobile, but when we preview it on desktop, it won't show anything. The important thing to note though is that if you change the content off the module, it'll also be applied on desktop. So let's say on mobile, I change the font to say something else. It'll also be applied on desktop. Only the styling can be saved, specifically on mobile or tablet.